Uh, before the video starts off, I just want to say uh, quickly, um, I didn't know there was a noise gate on this video, so I'm so sorry if it annoys you, it annoys me. Um, yeah, but enjoy the video, and um, welcome to Lua. Uh, what's up everyone? I'm Opod, or Jack, or whoever, whatever you want to call me already. Um, this is going to be a mini-series, or an extended series, depending on you know how many people... Are requesting for more videos um, it's just gonna be me taking you guys from little to no knowledge in Lua or 5M scripting to being able to make uh, more complex scripts such as ESX scripts and the rest so uh, for this uh, video you're going to need um, a code editor of your choice which if you know what that is it's just like a text editor I would recommend a thing called uh, Visual Studio Code um, you can get you can get the link for it in the description below so when you have it downloaded uh, you just want to run it and uh, make a folder uh, for your resources or your scripts so in here I have my scripting series episode 1 in this uh, episode I'm going to be teaching you guys just the very basics and how to create a simple chat uh, log so you can type um, announcements or you know the rest so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click, uh, go to new folder, and we call it um, chat, uh, I don't know, chat system, something like that. Actually, probably not chat system because it might be overrided, um, just commands, we we'll, we'll call it commands. Um, and you open that, and in here you're going to want to create a new file. Uh, make sure, wait a second, make sure you have up here. Uh, go to view and make sure you have a uh, file name extensions enabled because you will need this um so go to new file create fx manifest it has to be this has to be it's, it's case sensitive has to be exactly like this then dot lua lua is going to be the scripting language we're using for this um in 5m there's multiple languages you can use um, in a series we're going to be using JavaScript and Lua. It's going to give you this message asking asking you if you want to uh, name the extension. Yeah, so just click yes. Um, and then you want to open this in whatever you choose. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code like I mentioned before. Um, and you're going to want to go into the description below and go to um, the link that's in there. It should be called FX or resource or whatever. And all you want to do is you just want to copy down the hair um, and just paste it in. You don't need to copy, you can write it in yourself, but it's just quicker to copy in it. So you can remove this and you can remove this for now. And so just do an example. So author, just do opod example. I give it a description name. So chat uh, system. So now what we need to do is we need to define um the client scripts and the server scripts so if that's confusing i'll try my best to explain it now the client script is the client side it's everything that happens on the client side um meaning everything that you can see everything that interacts with your player is a client script and the server side is if you have anything got to do with database other players anything like that that's server sided uh and i'll give you an example of server side script and the client side script in a minute so we're going to go back out here and we're going to make a folder you don't have to make a folder but it's just better it's just organization called client and another one in here called server and open client and just make a new file called uh, client lua and the same here in server the server dot lua in here not client lua server lua and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type client underscore script and then quotation marks and you want to call exactly what the client file is called so inside your client folder it's client dot lua so this can be anything this can be you know uh bob dot lua it can be anything but it's just naming convictions. It's, it's usually you're you're ever, you're going to see it called client or main Lua, but um, I'm going to call it client just for the sake of it. And yes, so save that, 
and um, open up your crate in that lua. We'll do the serve that lua in a minute. I just want to show you guys this to begin with. So you're, what you're going to want to do is when you're in here, um, you're going to want to type register command. And then in parentheses, um, you're going to want to type two quotations. I know in here is your command name. So if you want to type help, we'll do help. So you type help. So now in game, when you type slash help, this command will run. Okay. So to tell it what to run, so it knows what to run, you do a comma and you type function, function. And then two more parentheses, you press enter, press enter and type end. I know inside this little block here, this is what's going to be run in the command. So you could type anything here really, but well not anything, but it depends really. Um, so if we type help on our server, we're going to want to make it so it replies with a message saying, you know, join the discord or for help or just something like that. So to do that, you have to do a thing called a trigger event. So I'll get more into detail into this um, in later videos, but for now, just type trigger event and then in uh, quotations you want to type chat and then uh, a colon add message it's important that this has to be a capital M that's vital it has to be a capital M otherwise it will not recognize it and it won't, you won't uh, it won't work for you so you want to type comma and then uh, curly break brackets and inside them curly brackets you have uh, three um, arguments so you want to type color the it's the American way of spelling it so color and inside uh, color is equal to sorry color is equal to um, and curly brackets and because this is a server so it's, it's using RGB so RGB is red green and blue so because this is a server we're going to make it red so it's two five five zero zero now on the next one we're going to want to type a comma it's important to type a comma because um basically if you do not type a comma it would not know you're going on to the next line and it can really mess up the the code so you, you want to type multi line is equal to true or false it's just better to keep it true um it just means multiple lines uh, uh, yeah it's just better to keep it true and then you type args is that args or args i think it's args um yeah args so args is equal to curly brackets and then inside quotations you want to type so there's a, there's going to be two quotations in this All right so the first is the prefix so when i want um when i type slash help I want the following to be uh, displayed in console. I want server, and then I want, um, say, join uh, the Discord for help. Or right, and then I'll just, I'll just paste in the Discord link from my server, and that is what I want to display. I want to see that in console when you type uh, help. So to do that. This part here, server, you want this to be uh, this, oh, like this, because this is called the prefix. It's what goes before the name. It's like the user's name, you know. So we, we want people to know this is the server. And then we don't need this. And then in, in this line, we're just gonna copy and paste this part, or you just type whatever you want, but I'm not gonna copy and paste just so speed up the video. And now, um, what you want to do is you want to put it into your uh, server file. So, so this is my. I'm using F FileZilla. It, it's relatively the same if you're using hosted on your computer. It's 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 just the same thing. This is the resources folder. So what you want to do is you just want to go back to here, go back to here where the com commands folder is, and just drag it into your resources folder. And for me, that's in. Uh, and then you go back to server config and you open your server config and then you go down to anywhere really but there should be 
default started. Um, so up here is where all my stuff starts. So I'm gonna type so start space command. And the reason is command, and this is really important to, to take note of. The reason is commands is because this folder right here is called commands. The folder that has the FX manifest inside of it is called commands. And I also just made a vital mistake and I, I probably should have mentioned that beforehand. Um, because this is inside a client folder, I need to type dot forward slash client forward slash. So this means in the folder client looking for the file. I save that, saving all up. And I'll go on to the server and show you guys now. All right. Um. So when you get in the game, uh, you're you'd probably look a lot different. I'm on my development server at the moment, so I'm using ASX. It's, it's, it doesn't matter. It's not a big issue. So if you type forward slash help, you should see uh, up here on the top left jo uh, server. Join the Discord for help. Exactly what we typed. Um. And then it gives you the link. Now, obviously, you can't click on the link, um, but you know it, it's it's what we typed. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to do the, uh, the server part. So, if I type for slash help, no one's going to see this other than me. But if I put in the server file for forward slash um, help, like if if okay, so if I put in the server script file. Um, it will basically broadcast it to everyone on the server um, because it's contacting everyone on the server. That's the server part of it. Client side is for you, server side is for other people or handling the economy or database issues. So I'll show you guys how to do the server part now. So you, when you're in the FX manifest, you want to type uh, server underscore script and inside here dot forward slash server forward slash server dot Lua. Looks the exact same as before. It's, it's basically the same. You know, just go back to where you have the file. And what you want to do is you want to type um, add event seconds, add event handler and parentheses and quotations. So in here, you want to type anything. It, it's just an identifier. So usually what you want to do is if you have like a server name. So for me, my server I'm developing at the moment is called Sonora Roleplay. So SRP is what I use as my kind of go-to for when I make uh, code. And then colon, um, help, we do help. And then underneath, uh, wait, no. Sorry, sorry, I did that wrong. I'm sorry. Um, so I meant to type register server event. I'm, I'm for example, register server event and then under that we type add event handler so it's the same thing it's just it's register server event beforehand uh, underneath that we type so srp help so what is happening here this is defining the, the register you know the help command this is defining it and then here it is um it's uh like it's, it's, it's telling him what I should do. So in here, I want to type function and uh, parentheses in the end, like we did before. And what I want to type is I want to type um, trigger event. And then in here, I do SRP. Um, so uh send message we do send message it doesn't have to be case sensitive it can be anything it's just you know whatever really and then you want to type uh comma minus one so basically um minus one basically means that it will just send it to everyone on the server usually what you would do is you would type um source if you want to have it come back to just you but we'll get to that later on just type minus one for now um and go back to your client file and you want to type down here uh register uh what is it register net event so it's not register server events register net event um and you type srp um so what do we call it in here we called it 
SRP send message. So it has to be what you call it in here. And then underneath that, you go, so Alt Shift uh, down on the arrow key to just duplicate fast. Add event handler. And then down here, function, end. So then you can copy this, copy this and paste this in here. And in here you can comment this out. Commenting something out just means it doesn't, the code does not see it. You can comment out or remove it, but I'd comment out so you can look back in later times. And what you want to do is you want to type trigger server event in parentheses. You want to type trigger server event and up here, the name that you typed in here. So SRP help is what we typed. So in parentheses, SRP help. And then when you bring it into your server, so when you're in your server, you can type up here, uh, restart, um, restart, what, what do we call it, commands? Restart commands. And it will restart the commands resource. So if I type forward slash help, it will say, join the Discord for help. All right, so I made uh, a quick mistake. Um, and yeah, so, okay, I, I, made, a, I made a mistake here. Um, so instead of register client event, do register net event. I, it, you, sorry, it's it's an old way of doing it as far as I remember, remember quick, if I remember correctly. Um, so you want to do register net event SRP send message, add event handler for the SRP send message, and then in the function you want to trigger the event add message, and then in server Lua. You want to trigger client event. Important. Trigger client event. And then in the bracket, SRP send message. And comma, uh, negative one. You need negative one because it, uh, it basically it sends it to everyone in the server. Um, and yeah, we will discuss on it in future, but that is why you need negative one. And then uh, if you type slash help, as you can see, I've already tried it slash help it'll bring up here and if you have anyone in your server it will show it to them as well so yeah a little mistake there but you know everyone makes mistakes and um you, i'm sure you make plenty of mistakes uh you just gotta get over them and you gotta you just you, you gotta figure out how to fix them really um so yeah the key word the key takeaways from this register command that's how you register a command anything it could be the register command a b c doesn't matter just register command that's how you register trigger server event is how you make a call to a server and then if you want to receive it you want to do a register net event and then add the event handler and then whatever it does in here um it will you know do across the server so here what i'm doing is on the server i am triggering an event to the client and because it's negative one, I am triggering it to every single client. I am triggering the event send message, which I defined here. And this send message uh, basically says create the message. So it will make it across the server. Um, so yeah, that's everything I have for this video. I will get into more complex uh, stuff in the future. I just want to you know, bring you guys in slowly. I'm assuming most of you don't have any easy scripting language from the past or scripting you know um experience um but i will i will be like i will be explaining the bit the you know as much as i can i want to get into esx for you guys because i haven't found i haven't found anyone that does esx tutorials really and i want to get into esx to show you guys how to do it because it's it's um it's a lot different e esx it changes the game really for 5m uh, using ASX and um, I'm currently developing a server I'm using ASX I'm using my own scripts I have my own drug script at the moment um, and I might showcase in the future if anyone wants a request anyway if anyone has a request for any scripts to be made any tutorials uh, leave them below and I hope that this uh, this finds you um, helpful you find this helpful and uh, yeah uh, yeah that's it